What's good YouTube, it's your boy Ori, welcome back to AM on Advice, hope you guys are doing good, I have another reaction video, today we're going to be reacting to embarrassingly dumb ways people die, you know, ah, uh, so we're going to see what's up, I hope these people didn't really die stupid, because if they did die stupid, I'd be very upset, really truly, it, 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 it. yeah, yeah, let's just get into the video, Next if you guys, if you guys are new to the channel, smash that like button, subscribe for for the channel, show your boys some love and support, you know what I mean? I would need, I, I'm a fat boy out, you know, but let's get into the video. Natural selection is Mother Nature's way of making sure people get smarter. But even after 200,000 years of human yep. evolution, some of us are still making really terrible choices. Yep. Let's take a look at some of the most foolish examples now. Say stupid, don't say foolish, use the right word. Stripping. Number 20. Way too hot spring. Have you ever fancied a dip in a hot spring? I know I have. Especially when clothing is optional. Maybe this is what Ooh. Colin Scott was thinking when he strayed off the trail at Yellowstone in 2016 to go swimming in one of its famous hot springs. This activity is forbidden by park rules, but Colin, a former Nature Reserve volunteer, thought he knew better. That is, until he slipped into the Norris Geyser Basin. A thermal bath of boiling acidic water with below surface temperatures of up to 459 Ooh. degrees. I've heard that some like it hot, but that's just ridiculous. No, man. Sadly for Colin, the only remains found were his wallet and flip flops. Number 19. Safe. That's cap. I found that's such that's a lie. I know that's a lie. You telling me. You're telling me, right? You said the only thing left was this flip flop and this wallet. Flip flops are made out of rubber, correct? Or leather. If this water's so hot, it could melt his skin, his bone marrows. Not marrows, I said the word bone. His bone structure, his skeleton. You telling me, uh, melt, uh, flip flop? And the next thing is, how they know only his flop flop and things inside him there? How, if it was so hot that they can't go in there to find the remains, how you know, big fella? How do you know? Oh. And I would even say that's stupid. He's, like you said, he slipped and fall. It's not that he intentionally did it. First, if there's one thing I know about safes, it's that they're heavy. I guess someone should have told this hapless burglar from Indiana who broke into a man's garage and tried to lift an antique 900-pound safe suspended <laughs> on the floor jack. When the homeowner returned to check his garage, he found the unlucky thief crushed to death. The owner of the safe said that stealing the safe would have been pointless because it was completely <laughs> empty, crushed to death by an empty safe. I'm sure there's a lesson here somewhere, and I think it's safe to say this burglar learned it. Number 18. Don't forget your pen. There are few things more satisfying than when bullies get what they deserve, especially big ones. Cambodian military policeman Kim Sackhorn, nicknamed Big Giant, got exactly that when he tried to extort money and crystal meth from a local dealer. Stop to scare that. the dealer, Kim pulled the pen from a grenade. Unsurprisingly, this tactic worked, and the dealer handed over the goods. Ken then put the live grenade back in his pocket. Blow the damn walls off. Mind how dumb this was? <laughs> By the time this massive monster reached his motorcycle, the grenade exploded, blasting the big giant into Whoa. tiny little pieces. Whoa. Number 17, Runway Cyclist. Unless you've got E.T. in your basket, you probably shouldn't be cycling on an airport runway. Yeah, this you're right. This never reached Brazilian yeah, cyclist Marcelo who was crossing an airfield near Sao Paulo while listening to his Walkman. Yes, it was 1997, but that's no excuse. The 25-year-old was totally clueless as he collided with the propeller of a ground beef, mangling the blades and damaging the wing in the process. I'd usually ah! say it's really a helmet, folks, but it... Ah, I never imagine the fact that this thing got crushed to pieces and damaged in the airplane. Oh, God, they don't care what you bro, bro. Focus on yourself. Yeah, <laughs> I like you, bro. Say the In this case, clear. I'm not sure that would have helped. Number 16, mm. fast food fatality. In an attempt to rip off their workplace, two managers at Burger King cooked up a whopper of a plan. 
staging a fake robbery and arson in order to steal over $4,000 from the restaurant, 22-year-old night manager Lisa was bound with duct tape and shoved into the walk-in cooler by her accomplice. Unluckily uh-huh. for Lisa, the fire department didn't show up until the morning when she was found freezing and semi-conscious. She later died in the hospital from hypothermia. According to investigators, Lisa could have easily freed herself from her bindings and escaped the unlocked refrigerator, which is exactly why she makes the list. Uh-huh. Hi, I'm Cliff, founder of Speechify. Hey, what is Speechify? Enough of that. Number 15, Tiger Toy. Playing with your food is an unattractive habit, but some creatures just can't help it. A mugger in South Africa found this out the hard way after robbing a couple at knife point. The mugger fled the scene and clambered over a nearby fence. What he'd forgotten. He met. Oh my gosh. He met somebody robbing you with a butter knife. <laughs> Bro, you robbed me with a butter knife? Best believe. I cut in your ass, bro. Bro, you come up to me, nigga, I'll spread your, I'll spread your shit, boy. Nigga, you, you even come to me with a, a, a butcher knife or machete. You come to me with a butter knife. Nigga, I'll freaking Bruce Lee, boy. What you mean, boy? Defensive hand, boy, move your hand. Ooh, hands, boy, I got quick, I got quick hands. Stop playing, boy. All of a sudden, I the knife down. Elbow, oh, UFC, boy, stop playing. Big, big stuff. And the fences were there for a reason. Suddenly, an ambush of bored Bengal tigers was upon him, and he quickly became their new plaything. After the body was found, a zoo spokesperson said the tigers had been fed the previous afternoon. Otherwise, there would have been nothing left. Number 14. Wow. A head for chemistry. In the age of pipe blockages and fatbergs, we should know by now not to mess with the sewers. In 2008, a biology teacher from Sofia, Bulgaria was driving home with two friends. Bystanders saw her car come to a sudden stop, and all three passengers got out and started pouring leftover jars of chemicals down a manhole. These noxious chemicals included diethyl ether and methanol, both highly flammable liquids. The cocktail of chemicals in the enclosed space of the sewers caused an explosion so powerful that the manhole cover was launched into the air, instantly decapitating the polluted teacher. The moral of the story? Don't mess with chemicals, or you could lose your head. Ah, Number 13, I feel like Flaming Rodeo. If this isn't an example of you should have known better, I don't know what is. In Washington in 2010, during the American Sprint Car Series, two crew members dreamed up an insane thrill ride. They poured four gallons of methanol into a 55-gallon barrel, sat on the barrel, oh, yeah. and then lit the I feel bad. These two brothers the thought place. the barrel would shoot across the parking lot like a rocket. The hell you think this is? Rodeo. What they'd actually created was a makeshift bomb, which quickly blew them sky high. Both of them ended up stupid. in the hospital, and one of them died. Not sure I want to think about the aftermath. Bro, are you watching this one? You're stupid. Twelve. Suddenly sluggish. Most people wouldn't have the guts to eat a slug. Turns out this guy did not. A young rugby player called Sam from Sydney, Australia was at a party in 2010 when the slug sped across the table. His friends dared him to eat it, and he did. Not long afterwards, Sam contracted a rat lungworm, a parasitic worm spread by rodents. The parasite infested Sam's brain, putting him in a coma and leaving him paralyzed. Several years later, he died as a result of this prank gone wrong. I'm not sure I even have to tell you this, folks. But seriously, don't eat slugs. Number 11, Headless Chickens. In 1997, a group of co-workers in Holland were on a tour bus, and some of the bolder employees stuck their heads out of the window to enjoy the air. You'd think you'd notice a tunnel approaching down the road, but two men kept a bus in a viaduct, and by this point, it was too late. The two men were not decapitated, but suffered severe oh, head trauma okay. and I thought it had mess, yet. Okay. killing them both instantly. Way to ruin the field trip, guys. Number 10. Fatal Footsie. We all have a series of idiots playing Russian roulette, but this one tops them all. In 1999, Cambodia was littered with all kinds of discarded weaponry after decades of armed conflict. In a place called Sve Riang, three friends had spent the evening drinking. 
After hours of arguing, one of the men pulled out a 25-year-old unexploded anti-tank mine he Bad found idea. in his backyard. Bad the man then tossed idea. it on the table, and the three men began taking turns to first drink, then stomp on the mine. Other villagers fled in terror, and minutes later, an enormous explosion occurred, killing it's all the men. Idea. Personally, I think the gene pool might have benefited from this one. Don't you? Number 9. Domestic disturbance. Arguing with your partner can be an emotional roller coaster, but this man's reaction was shocking. In Buenos Aires, Argentina in 1998, a man decided that the best way to win an argument with his wife was to pick her up and throw her off the Oh bed. my god! It floors up, but bizarrely, the woman became entangled in the power lines below. In what may have been an effort to save her, or maybe finish her off, the man leapt from the balcony aiming for the wires. The airborne abuser missed the wires completely, plunging to his death. Somehow, his wife managed to swim to a nearby balcony and was subsequently rescued. I'm no Buddhist, but that's karma. Number eight, get so clean. Keeping box fresh trainers clean is a must, but this method might be going too far. In 1998, 67-year-old Texan Reva Nix was washing her tennis shoes, wait for it, with gasoline when the shoes, which she was still wearing, were ignited by a nearby candle. Reva had to run with her uh, feet uh, to her uh, 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 feet with a hose. She had... It was too late, however, and Reva later died from her burns. The local sheriff warned others against using gasoline in this way, uh, since it was apparently common practice. Well, I guess that's Texas. She get them sonic shoes. Number seven. Yeah, I remember when we said we had no car thief. Thief. Some people have flames. twisted moral codes, but this car thief from Pittsburgh had a bit of logic to his larceny. Randy Nestor stole plenty of cars, and whenever a stolen vehicle became hot, he'd torch it, reasoning that the fire damage would help the owners collect on the insurance. Pretty thoughtful, right? It turns out Randy was the victim of his own virtue when he set fire to a van that he was still inside. On trying to escape, Randy found that the driver's side handle was broken and the door locked. Randy burned up inside the van and was pretty much killed by his own kindness and stupidity. <laughs> Number six, Floridian Pigeon. It seems that idiots are drawn to power lines like moths to a flame. Here, the infamous Florida man returns with a tale that would have Thomas Edison face palming in his grave. When Elian Garcia Rivera's See, pet pigeon decided to perch on a... You know how I know this is a lie that the other one with the woman on the power line? I don't say it's a lie, but I feel it's a little stuff. Right? They said power line. He never said telephone line. Power line is... <laughs> Yo, the minute you touch that, fried chicken on spot. Burnt chicken on spot. Nope. Power line. That. He thought the best way to dislodge his feathered friend would be to retrieve a 20-foot long aluminum pool pole and yeah, grab it into the high voltage wires. This Floridian only succeeded in turning himself into a human superconductor and was killed instantly. Instantly, if bro. This Florida man had listened a little more in science class. Number five, time zone terrorists. Daylight savings time causes a lot of confusion, but in this instance, it proved fatal. Hey. I thought, oh, I thought. Come on, my phone. In 1999, Israel turned the clocks back a day early, but Palestinians refused to accept this Zionist time, except for four terrorists who planned a bombing that day. Their bombs were set Whoa. to go off at 6.30 p.m., but poor communication meant Fancy. that the bombers were an hour behind schedule. The explosives detonated while the terrorists were en route, preventing ah. any further bloodshed. I think we can say these dummies got what they deserved. A one-way ticket to the afterlife. Oh. Number four, faithful flotation. Everything. I'll admit, I've tried to walk on water. Anyone who says they haven't taken a run at a pool with the hopes of making it across is probably lying. So when in 2016 a Zimbabwean pastor promised he would nah, walk into the river and rise above the water, his congregation were intrigued. After fasting for a week, the pastor waded 30 meters into a river known as Crocodile River. You'd think the name might have put him off, but no. Pastor Jonathan was devoured by three hungry crocodiles before he had hippos. the chance to perform his miracle. So much for divine intervention. Number three, Possible people, not bad. Tom. people love to catch a glimpse of something they're not supposed to see. 
like this Calgary man who died in a shopping mall last year. Though his motives were unknown, I think it's pretty obvious what this guy was up to when he climbed through the wall in the women's bathrooms. The man became trapped there and was found dead three days later. Police have not revealed the cause of death, but it's safe to say this peeping Tom got a little more excitement than he bargained for. Number 2. Just buy a ticket. There are smart ways to save money, and there are dumb ways to save money. And then there's this guy. Mr. Zhang was visiting Ningbo Yonggu Zoo in China with his family when he realized he couldn't afford the $20 to buy a ticket for himself. Okay. So he Time doubled back and decided to scale the fence in order to access wow. the zoo. After a successful climb, Mr. Zhang landed in the tiger enclosure and was set up by a trio of tigers who quickly ripped him to pieces. Stop man. I guess he paid the price after all. Stop man. Number one. Stings in the tail. The Asian giant hornet is the world's biggest hornet, and wow. it's the stuff of nightmares. Large, aggressive, and venomous, a swarm what? of these insects can kill a human. And they do. Around 40 people are killed in Japan each year by hornet stings. So the last thing you should do is bug them. In this hilarious yet shocking video, a Chinese man is shown dancing with a hornet's nest and throwing it about after That's a why I don't mess with them. Mind my business. Elicit stings from dangerous flying creatures, tearing their house down and juggling with it is a sure way to do it. Even with his protective suit, the man suffers multiple stings and is later shown being carried off on a stretcher, wow. his body stiff and full of venom. I think he needed a better suit. Wow. So which award winner would you give the number one trophy to? Let me know your thoughts Boy, in the comment section down below. That one one. If you're going to do something. That one one is a dino joke, bro. Boy. Oh, oh, hey, that's why you won't see me. Hey, I don't want no man house and tell him how to make his bread. Or oh, I don't want his house and eat his bread. I stay in my house and enjoy my plate. If you want from the eyes, you might be like, what the hell is this nigga talking about? Those who get it, get it. Those who don't, you don't. But, bro, that one one was crazy. Stiff, full of venom. Going down bad. Your boy going down bad. Sad too. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Smash that like button, subscribe, comment down below if you guys want to see more reaction videos. Make the reaction videos entertaining. None of y'all personal music. No, I'm not gonna react to your personal music. But it's gonna be fun, entertainment, hype, joy. You know, little 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 stuff like this, man. Stuff we can enjoy together, man. You know, but yeah, with that being said, I hope you guys have an amazing day. Be happy, be joy. <laughs> be joy, be blessed, and remember the world is yours. Peace!